Three different police forces in the GTA are investigating a string of violent robberies that occurred overnight that they believe to be connected. Investigators think as many as 15 stores were robbed in Milton, Oakville, in Etobicoke, and right here in Mississauga. A variety of businesses were targeted. They include gas stations, restaurants, as well as convenience stores like this Raba's Fine Foods here on here Ontario. Uh, the owner tells me three or four men came in, jumped over the counter, and pushed and punched the cashier before fleeing with $1,300. Police in Toronto say the suspects are violent, armed, and dangerous. They have identified the same group, group of men involved in all of these robberies. There may be more. We're still investigating. Uh, what we've seen is uh, they've, they've indicated guns in some of their robberies. Uh, there may have been some cars stolen or carjackings that occurred in relation to these robberies as well. We're talking about 15 in a very, very short period of time uh, that offered us quite a bit of concern. Do you believe that these robberies are targeted and if so, what are they looking for? Well, they're, they're robberies of, you know, convenience stores, uh, gas stations, cash businesses. They're looking for cash. They're looking for I'm not sure what they're looking for, but it seems it's cash businesses open throughout the night when there are not as many people around to witness what's going on. Take a look at just how widespread this crime spree was. The map shows some of the locations that have been confirmed by police. In total, officers say there were seven robberies in Peel, nine in Toronto, and two, uh, sorry, that's six in Toronto and two in Halton. Peel police say some of the victims were pushed, slapped, and left shaken up, but thankfully there were no major injuries. Now, the reason why they were targeted, we're assuming that uh, there weren't a a large number of workers at that point in the establishments and there probably weren't a lot of customers also. Any indication of whether or not this was planned and how long it's been planned for? Uh, we're still early in our investigation. Uh, we haven't uh, been able to obviously catch the culprits to mm -hmm. determine that as of yet, but when you do that many in a row, there is some thought going into it. And many of these stores have surveillance cameras. Police say they will be reviewing that footage. Now, these robberies come as uh, the province allows private stores to sell marijuana. Some are asking if that will force retailers uh, to consider increasing their security. A former security expert uh, who is, sorry, a security expert who is a former Toronto cop says questions like that still remain unanswered. When it comes to cannabis being out, every business is going to have to come up with their policies about how they want it to be handled on their property, around their property, by their customers, even by their associates. So it's an important thing right now. I'm actually going to be speaking at a meeting on September 20th for the Retail Council of Canada, and they'll be covering that very fact. How does cannabis affect the retailers? How are they going to deal with it? How are they going to display it? It's a big question with not many great answers yet. We're all looking for them. And McLean also says there's a high conviction rate for these types of crimes, also saying that although they're high risk, they're also low reward.